Hey guys, welcome to another Wedding Wednesday. I am, I'm actually at home today. Little Penny, she wasn't feeling so good. It's been so cold here in Virginia, so I decided we we're gonna stay home so she can get better and not have to go out in this cold. It's been terribly cold. Um, as you guys, if you can see, we got paper flowers here. I love, love, love flowers. Um, but real flowers die so quickly. So paper flowers everywhere. Paper flowers at the shop, paper flowers on the wall. I'm gonna try to show you guys her, um, just some of them without showing you their junky room or the fact that I have on sweatpants right now. But those are just some of her little flowers. I love flowers. Okay, so anyways. So today we are gonna talk about invitations because I know it is time for you guys to start sending out those invitations or at least ordering them and thinking about like how many you need to order and things like that. Um, as well as I'm going to invite you guys to, um, I was going to call it a workshop. It's not a workshop. We're just going to do a live on YouTube next Saturday. Um, and I'll post the times and the links so you can go um, to our YouTube page and watch it. You can, you know, connect with us, interact with us live, ask us questions. Um, just simply about, we, we did a survey, um, at one of the shows that I just recently did. And I asked, um, what is what is the top two things that you want to avoid during planning and i would say i want to say like a hundred percent of the people put stress and then 50 percent put some people just put stress and stress um some put stress and money some people put stress and um venues closing which that's been happening a lot here in uh Virginia but anyways so the 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 top two were uh, stress and overspending so I'm gonna just do a live and just kind of help you guys out and show you how you can avoid those things um, planning any type of event is stressful um, there'll be some stress added with it but I will show you ways to just avoid it as much as possible um, uh, one stressor that I get a lot is, you know, family members, you know, sisters, bridesmaids, moms, mom-in-laws, things like that. Those things, I cannot change. <laughs> but what I can help you with, I will share with you. Because wedding planning does not have to be stressful. Um, now, dealing with your friends and families, that just depends on what family you were born into. And sometimes, yes, that is stressful. Um, but I'll help you in whatever ways I can. So today's tip, though, we're talking about invitations. Uh, just because, you know, it's that time to go ahead and order those invitations for your summer weddings, even sometimes like for your fall weddings, spring weddings, you should already have your invitations. But if you don't, watch this. Um, so when you are ordering your invitations, um, and this is one of the ways that you can avoid stress is by not overspending. Um, and one way that you can avoid not overspending is just doing a little education, just doing a little research to get some education on what to do when you are doing it yourself. If you're going to DIY your invitations or if you're going to order them offline without the guidance of a professional, you just need to know how to do that. Um, because what a lot of people will do is say, okay, I have a list of 150, so they'll order 150 invitations. And you don't have to do that. So what you can do is write out your list. Um, and most people, they will you know, write out everybody who is coming or who they want to attend. But some of those people live in the same house. So like for instance, if you were inviting the Ellis family, that we consist of five people, okay? but that's only one invitation. So some people will take their whole list and say, okay, I need 150 invitations or I need 200 invitations. You only need one invitation per household. Even if, okay, say for instance, Gabe, he's not college age yet, but say for instance, you're thinking about the Ellis family. You're like, okay, so it's five of them. Um, I'm gonna send one to their house, but Gabe, he's away in college. I'm gonna send one to Gabe. No, you, the Ellis's get one invitation and then they all need to RSVP on that one RSVP card. Do not send um, multiple invitations to the same household. If they are, okay, say for instance, my mom and dad, the McManus. I no longer live with the McManus. So now, yes, you would need to send one to the McManus and one to the Ellis's. I'm not talking about um, like if 
the daughter or son of someone is now married. They're now a, a separate household. But if you have a family of five and the children are not like independent of the mom and dad, just send one family invitation. Um, as well as save the dates. I would probably, if you are looking to save money, I would only print enough save the dates to send to my family who is not on social media. If you have um, like grandmothers or aunts and uncles who are older who are not on social media, I would not send them a save the date um, just because it costs more and it's, it's kind of unnecessary. If you have um, most of your family on social media and they are active, especially like college friends and things like that, post it you know, your little engagement picture and be done and save yourself some money because unless it's like your mom or your grandma or a close aunt or uncle, your save the date is probably going in the trash. They're not going to keep it. And then they're going to still contact you like, when is your wedding again? They're not going to look at the same thing. I'm sorry but this is true. All right. So that's it guys. Uh, again, I'll post the link for next week. Uh, we're going to go live on YouTube, which is going to be new for me. Um, and just talking again about how to avoid stressors, uh, when wedding planning. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week and on February 1st. Bye-bye.